everybody, it's Rich and Laurel, The Vintage Hikers. Hey guys. Uh, this is going to be one for the ladies, so guys, I mean, you're more than welcome to watch Not it. Not sure why I'm here. <laughs> He's here as my assistant. Um, I got a light heart gear hiking skirt with pockets. And so I'm going to do that review and Rich is going to give me a hand on it. Um, and I'll go through the measurements and the dimensions. It's a great, great skirt and I've really enjoyed it. So we're going to get on to the review. Okay, I just wanted to go over a couple of things about the skirt before I put it on. This is a size small. The waist is 30 inches, exactly the measurement that it said it would be on the Light Heart Gear website. And the length is about 18 and a quarter, 18 and a half inches long. Um, it's very well made. Stitching's real good. Uh, and it has a very nice long metal zipper. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on now and talk about some of the things that I like about it and um, my experience wearing it in South Cumberland for four days over 4th of July. Okay, quick change complete. I've got the skirt on. Um, I am about 132, 133 pounds. I'm five foot six. This is how the small fits on me. Uh, normally I'm 125, but this winter and spring due to some stuff going on in my life, I kind of forgot to exercise, but I didn't forget to eat. So I went ahead and got the small. There's a possibility that through the course of my through hike, I may have to get into an extra small, but 2,200 miles, I may need to replace my skirt anyway. And I don't mind if it rides down lower. So I'm good with ordering the small, especially because in the beginning I'll have tights and stuff on underneath. Now, speaking of things being on underneath, um, the very first time I wore it, we went on a train hike and I had to go over a big tree, a blowdown. I was just wearing my usual give and go hip -kinis, and I straddled that log and realized that I had a lot of exposed parts of myself sitting on that log that I was not real comfortable about from a standpoint of ticks, um, scrapes, things like that. So when we went on our South Cumberland hike, I borrowed a pair of my husband's Duluths, which are pretty similar to the Ex Officio. And so I've gotten a pair of Ex Officios and they work out pretty well. I'd actually like something a little longer. Um, now, Light Heart Gear does sell an underwear that you can use that's a, got a looser leg. I've got one in my head <laughs> that is exactly what I'm looking for. I don't think it exists. Um, Judy said she'd take my input and maybe design it. So if not, I'll just keep looking. I would like something a little longer and maybe not quite as high waisted. And then I want easy access to use my um, FUD. So this is an option. Um, other people also wear like a biking tight. And then of course, like I said, in the winter, I'll be wearing um, merino wool tights. And it's great with the skirt because you can just get them off without having to take your skirt off. Um, the skirt itself weighs seven ounces. It dries very well. Even when it's wet, it's comfortable to hike in. You've got great pockets. Um, on both sides, you've got a Velcro pocket. It's very large. I actually, the whole time we were hiking, put my snacks in one pocket. And then in the other side, my phone is recording right now, but this gives you an idea. This is like a glass cover for my phone. So every bit as big as my phone. It goes in there with room to spare. Then behind that, we've got another really big pocket. And then here is a pocket that sits between the two of them. You've got six pockets total. On the back, you have no pockets, but seriously, how many do you need? <laughs> I kept in my hip belt just the things that I was only gonna use like once or twice a day or at the end of the day. Everything I needed right here and I loved it. Here's a feature of the skirt that I haven't used a lot yet, but it's nice to have. There's a snap. Uh, right here in the middle and you can snap it up and if you want to sit and just not have it exposed. I personally don't find a skirt that short so I don't use it that often but it is an available feature. When we were in South Cumberland for the four days I literally lived in this skirt. Uh, it didn't smell, it was comfortable wet, it dried out quickly. Uh, I have washed it and dried it a couple of times um, comes out without any wrinkles. If you accidentally forget it in the dryer, you can hit it with a fluff and the wrinkles come right out. So as far as care and durability, I have a real good feeling about this lasting me a good long time. I just wanted to do a little close up of the pockets for you. Um, this is the skirt laying on its side. This pocket on both sides is Velcro and you do want to make sure you close that back up when you wash it because otherwise that's going to stick to everything but you're probably used to that with other stuff that has velcro so this is a look inside this pocket it's real good sized 
and then the one that's directly behind it is basically about the same size but doesn't have the velcro on it and then here's your other pocket which as i said is a really nice deep pocket and it's right there um i don't know that i've if i've mentioned or not the the skirt retails it's 98 dollars, and with shipping and tax it was about 105 dollars. so it is an investment but for me it was an investment that was worth it because i think that it's going to last me um Maybe without the size issue, it could last me the whole trail. But even if it only lasts me half the trail, um, I think it'll be worth it. This shirt is very comfortable to hike in with it. It doesn't ride up. Um, this is another shirt that I use a lot. And I find this type of a shirt even more comfortable. Um, it sits a little lower on my hips, I think. It didn't bunch up at all. I didn't have any problems with my hip belt irritating me with anything with the skirt. Um, I really, really enjoy it. I like the freedom of it. And um, I, at this point, think this is going to be my go-to garment for the AT next year. If you have any comments, questions, please ask them. Um, I'll put a link to the Lightheart Gear site below. And uh, thank you for watching the video.